today, so today we are going to try on wigs for you guys. So um, I do a lot of photo shoots and we both love hair and beauty and all of that fun stuff. So we have a whole lot of wigs and I love wigs of all price ranges. And they're amazing for photo shoots. They're a little bit harder to wear during the day sometimes for me, I think. But we have some tips and tricks for you and you guys can go see and it'll be a lot of fun. An adult dress up party. <laughs> Well, I am actually a hairdresser, I'm living my life I'm to the fullest. So for wigs, you also need hats. Unless you're gonna be like Kylie Jenner and spend a ton of money on your wigs, most of the time, if they are synthetic, they don't look super real. So to make them look real, you get a hat. Hi, they're gone. I bought this beauty online for $29.99 and it is synthetic, fully synthetic, and it said that I can use, huh, said I can use hot tools on it. And I went through all the precaution of putting, you know, some um, wig oil on it. Well, some pieces I tried are now straight and won't curl and ride the ends. But I did cut it and layer it because it was all one length. And on the pictures, this was not that dark. It's really not that comfortable and it's a little too big, but with a hat, it hides it all. That's the other thing that I don't think a lot of people realize if you don't wear wigs a lot. Wigs, you need sizes and like adjustable things because everyone's head size is different. And so, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to try on this long brown one. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you probably see my hair change a lot of different colors and a lot of different pictures. And how I do it is with wigs. So I don't know about you guys, but I know a ton of people love to dye their hair to change their look and to feel different or they're going through a breakup or whatever it is. And it's really hard for your hair, especially being a blonde, when you go this color or my color, really fries and damages your hair. So by using wigs, if I wanted to dye my hair brown and then come back to blonde, I would have no hair left on my head. So on the days I want to be brown, I can use a wig. I'm like also really like annoying with how I do my wigs. I do not put it on. Like I don't put it up my hair up properly. That okay, so there's something called a wig cap. A lot of times I don't personally use this because my hair is so short and I can slick it back and pin it um, and it'll just stay for me because my hair is so short. But with someone with mid to long length hair, um, they have to tie it up, put it down, but sometimes it, you know, it doesn't really work out. So then there's this like sock thing called a wig cap. I, and I personally hate wearing wig caps because they squeeze your head and always give me a headache. It's so, supposed to keep the hair down. Yeah, so I mean it works, and if you have like crazy wild hair, I mean my hair is like not super short, but it is really thin. So I typically just put it in like a low bun. I did see my friend the other day like braid this and then pin both sides back. Mm -hmm. But it just kind of depends on you. Just so you guys can see how to put it on. So you're separating it and making it big. Okay, let's start at the bottom. Okay, start at the bottom, put your hair into it. Pull it nice and down. <laughs> Cute tip. <laughs> you get in my ear for me. Cute tip. <laughs> okay, and then once you do that, you're pulling your ears out. <clears throat> and then obviously you don't want your hair to come down to here, so you're gonna push this back. You don't want to push it too far back though, because you want all of these hairs to the end. And there you go. Wig cap. Mm. And then. I like to put my wigs on, I put them in the back and then put, cause your skull has like this little out part. So I use that as kind of a shelf and I pull it on. But just so you guys can see what we're talking about, like this doesn't look real. This I bought for $15 at like a costume store. And I personally am not like confident enough to like go out and rock <laughs> it like this. <laughs> so you just literally grab any hat that you want. Although one thing is, is you have to make the hat bigger than it would normally be for your normal head because now you have this extra layer. But you do that and also don't make sure that it's not too high up because that also looks fake. So push that hat on and look, you can never tell. I'm feeling myself. I'm 
pelo myself. Pelo myself. Pelo myself. Pelo myself. I feel like I literally sing the song in every video. So that's it. I mean, I love this. My hair would never be this long. So I just love it. <laughs> a bad thing. My hair would never grow this long if I, like, it just doesn't grow this long. And I like being brunette for a little while, but I don't think my actual hair would look good this color. But I love this wig. I wear it all the time. I think it looks really realistic. And I feel so different. <laughs> She's a quick change. <laughs> so literally you guys can see it takes only a minute or so to put it on and it gives you a total different look. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I use this a lot in the fall because I think it's just like a very fall -y color. If you guys want to go reference my Halloween pictures at the pumpkin patch that you guys can see, you really can't tell. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Premature balding, guys. It's uh, not a freaking joke. But I must say, when you have a wig on all day and then you take it off, it is the most freaking thing. Like when you take your eyelashes off, <laughs> your falsies. Wow. Okay, I hate this color. No offense. I don't it, like it. That's not what I want. Why is it so dark? It doesn't look natural. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Nope. Not this hat. Wait. I love that wig on you. Do you think this wig looks good on me? Because I'm just... Mm. <laughs> I look like a boy. <laughs> okay, put this to the side. I literally look like a boy. <laughs> oh my god. What is, it looks super different on I you. know. It looks cute on you. And I look like a boy who has really long hair. Uh, this looks a little bit better, but <laughs> I'm really happy I didn't buy this wig because I would have been a little mad about it. I was really pissed about it, but you, you just... So even if you don't like the wig, try and make it you still. Maybe put some false color in it, like the clip-ins, or maybe try some braids. Okay, put some braids in it. Let's talk about dyeing wigs. Ha, that's a tricky business. Don't, okay, especially if they're synthetic. If they're cute, Remy hair, then that's fine, but we're talking about like cheap synthetic wigs. Uh, also, a few reasons why you should get wigs, um, one, the cost of dyeing your hair is a few hundred dollars typically, and wigs can typically cost 50 bucks or less. On top of the fact, if you want to change your hair length from short to long, you'll have to wait years to do it. There's just a lot of pros. Just be prepared to wear a hat. And also, they're a little heavy, I think. Like, my head starts to, I kind of get a headache depending on what wig I'm wearing. Yes. I'm ready for next. I love that wig on you, and I really think you should go dark. So, Are you guys ready to see real dark? I've always wanted to go black. And never go back. Okay, another tip for wigs is if you want to wear it and it look more realistic and not have to wear a hat, get bangs because then that seam and that weird like hairline is like kind of blended. But oh my god, I love this one on her. Okay, guys. So little fun fact: this chick right next to me sends me a picture of her in this wig and a hat. And y'all know this girl's blonde. I was so mad. I was so mad. She was like, look what I did. I did a thing. I'm definitely not a bang person because I am very comfortable with my head and my facial shape. Although I must say, you want to make sure the bangs are the right length. Like I cut all my bangs because first they off, they like sisters. all came out here, so I cut my bangs. I feel like when I have black hair, though, it makes me look very pale. So I like to type it. It has such a hard time with bangs. I want I like the look when they like cover your eyes but then you can't see. Um I like don't really love this look. Like this wig is purely for photo shoots. I would never go out with it. 
Um, whereas like the brown one, I would definitely wear out and I have worn out. Oh, Mid America! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to put this on. <laughs> that looks very emo. That's kind of cute. I actually feel like you could pull off bangs too. I feel like this hat, whenever I put it on, I feel so indie, especially when I have bangs. <laughs> hey, baby. Uh, uh. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> you put your ears on? No. I just want to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 For shizzle, guys. It's a real thing right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll do it too. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't think it was. <laughs> So right, <laughs> you want your But like, can you guys see how wiry it looks? Like Barbie. Like when you feel it, it's like not soft at all. Like Barbie. And they're both synthetic, but they're just different materials. Like that doesn't, if someone were to grab this, they wouldn't know. Whereas like with that, I feel like it's very obvious that it's fake. Look at how funny, even though these are the same wigs, your face and like coloring totally changes it. 
because I wear this. I'll actually insert a picture here. But I look like a little four year old. I typically with this, I actually will wear this without a hat and I put a ribbon right here and I look like a little girl. I don't mind this one. I like this for photo shoots when I want long blonde hair with bangs. Also, INH Hair, obviously you guys already saw that video where I did the ponytail, but they just released new Remy Hair bangs, clip-ins that you just like clip in the bangs, which is cool. Because clip in the bangs! <laughs> then you don't have to commit to them. So this is my most expensive wig that I bought for $50, which obviously is not even that much. It is probably about 28 inches. It's very long and it's layered. I did not cut it in. I'm so different. But like, look at how, like, this is a really nice hair quality as well. Kind of like that brown one I just showed you. And this is my favorite. Again, don't like that middle part. But, one other thing. If you are going to leave your hair and not wear a hat, and you have, like, somewhat decent of a hair, good quality wig, you can style your hair and, like, maybe, like, bring these back. And now you see it doesn't look, like, this doesn't look as fake, right? If I like actually did it to like style it, if you were to like pin this back and like maybe like pull out a few, and it looks a little bit more realistic. How do you like like play with your hair naturally when it's a wig? Do you know like? <laughs> okay, but look. So I did a photo shoot actually this past week with this wig and this hat, and like oh, I feel so hot when I wear this wig. It's my favorite. Would wig caps work? I think I just need a lot of bobby pins for mine. It slips off my head and just starts going and then just like a little be like an end of a condom after it's being used and the guy's so hard. <laughs> I feel like this is almost like a mullet. Look, I like it is. have a mullet, guys. I thought it was cute at the store. Again, I found a whole bunch of these at this costume store. I also prefer this even though they're not like that different in color. Is it the exact that one's color? more yellow. Yeah, that's what I think. This one's more cooler. Cool tone. It's a cute tone. I'd say probably the best place to find wigs is at a local costume shop or Amazon even. Amazon has a really cool pink one that I like, like long and wavy. But buy the wig how you want it. Like you can cut it, but don't dye it. Don't try to use heat tools. It's synthetic fiber, and so it's basically like plastic. So try not to cut your wig. Yeah. Get it pre-cut because once it's gone, it's gone. When you buy a wig, you have to be pretty confident because like it's like, typically a little obvious, like, especially if you don't wear a So just be prepared that like it's a little uncomfortable. You may look in the mirror and not recognize yourself because that's kind of fun. Debbie. Who is that gorgeous devil? <laughs> oh, also guys, do not wear a wig if you're going to the club to meet a guy. Because then you're gonna go home and you're gonna be like, <laughs> and just you're gonna kidding. have a bald cap on, or like it's just really weird. And then you're like, guys think it's so weird when your hair is just like sitting there and they're like, what the hell? Right? My favorite thing to do is, oh, psych. <laughs> just kidding. We'll take care of your wigs. Oh, yeah. Keep them in the packaging or get mannequin heads, brush them out, take care of them. So you guys also saw me do the review on these bad boys, which are the Amber Filler Up clip-ins. And we're gonna put them in Liz's really short hair and show you why they have to be funny. Trend 2019, wear a wig cap with a hat. Yes, Ooh. please. Who needs wigs? You could just wear a wig cap. <laughs> Wait, you know what you look like is a pathetic do? They have their little- Oh my god, hair. I do! Wait, ready? From Amazon, I will link it below, but I definitely I think it'll wait. Like, new look 2008 2019. We're in a different year than you are. You put on two hats at once. It looks like I'm wearing a condom on my head. I like to wear condoms on my head. <laughs> I really recommend, and I'm sure you do too, if you are wanting to be adventurous with your hair and go from super light to super dark, or vice versa, or to red. Get a wig. Long. Also, 
try a wig before you dye it. Like, if you're like, I don't know, maybe I want to go red, don't do that until you get a wig. And make sure you like how it looks on you because that really sucks to go red and then hate it. Yeah. Because you're like, I like this color a lot, but now you're not going to like it on you for a long time because red and black are really hard to get out. Well, and the other thing too, well, one, it saves your hair. But as you guys can see, when you like, you may love red hair on someone else, or even like the teal that Kylie Jenner did, but it looks so different per person. So, like, you just saw us try on the same wigs, but it looks so different on me versus Liz. So, it may look really great on a celebrity or in a magazine, but it may look very different on you and in your lifestyle. If you're not going to a red carpet event and you're going to a nine to five office job, maybe you don't want neon red hair. It's up to you. Maybe you don't want purple hair. I don't know. But I really suggest getting a wig, wearing it for a week or two, making sure you're like it, making sure you're getting the response from people because that's another thing. Yeah. I mean, do it for you, but like... Yeah, but I mean like some people are like, oh, I love this color on me, but like I don't like the attention I'm getting because purple hair does give a different response. It's a very look at me feel. So if yeah. you're going to go bright and or super dramatically dark and you already have light hair, you have to understand it, it's it's gonna be a change for you too because every time I dye my hair or cut my hair or anything, it always makes me feel a certain way. And you have to really understand that like, maybe getting a wig or clip-ins to even see what a little bit will look like, maybe start a little bit and then gradually proceed to whatever color you wanna do. Because it, it's at the end of the day, it's about you and how you feel. I know that for me, when I've dyed my hair drastically, like I've actually dyed my hair dark brown and it killed my hair. And I loved how it looked, but I identified as a blonde. So I like ended up coming back. But I would really just like test it out, see how it is. If you love it after, you know, a few weeks, then go for it, awesome for you. But I definitely think it's a good thing to try out first. Plus it's so much fun, even if you don't want to dye your hair and you yeah. love how you look. Going out with like different yeah. styles. You could do a lot of stuff with it. Have other identities. Go to the bar yes. and say, hey y'all, I'm Samantha, when really that's not your name. Ooh, Make it a whole story. That's so much fun. Okay, hey guys, I'm Jenna and I'm from Australia. I just got into town with a few of my buddies and um, we're just gonna come and hang out at the pubs and I don't know, just like get to know everybody. Just wanna hang out and you know, do whatever. Yeah, no, 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 water. Hi guys, I am Pony and I just love color so much and I just love to play all the time. You go out and you do you and you live your best life. Like I'm not, I'm not judging you. I've never judged her and it seems like she's really into My Little Pony and from her past YouTube video that we actually created together was uh, the My Little Pony palette. I could see her putting a bunch of light color all over her eyes and like just really getting into it. Do you have a lollipop? I love doing accents. I, 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 I like watching like videos of like other people talking and like seeing how their mouth works and um, how they say things in the slang and everything that they're kind of like about and just like have fun with it and I don't know it just, it's something like I pick up and then I can't I can't get out of it and well, I'm just like all of I'm all of it now I'm, like on this like actual persona like I'm Jenna and I'm from Australia I'm from Perth it was awesome seeing you guys and doing this persona for you but now on to the next later bye guys hi guys i'm jennifer and i've been playing my guitar for 17 hours straight and i'm just so worn out being on the road on the tour bus is just so difficult but you know i love it and it's amazing that I could really go for a sig right now. My name's Jamie Lynn, and I'm from Trailer Park, just like south of here. So, like, I'm pretty southern, whatever. I, I don't know what you say, it, but I have five children, and it's uh, not by choice. <laughs> they just started all popping out after me and all my exes just kind of like, you know, the break of sex and shit. You know, man, after one too many or 20 beers, I'm just like, to have another baby and I'm like I barely afford diapers but you know um I've been growing out my hair for about I'm only 17 so probably that long 
Well, Mama said that she never wants me to cut my hair, and I did a thing, and I saw it on the, on the YouTube channel, the tube thing, and you put your hair in a ponytail, and then you cut it, and this is what happened, all, un, all uneven, and I was just trying to be like a YouTube star, and I completely just, but every time I go out to watch the motocross, I look so great because I get myself face. Mama, if you could look at me now. Mama, look at me now. <laughs> I don't understand how far it goes by. I just don't. I'm actually from Tennessee. I ain't never heard no Tennessee woman ever speaking like that in my whole life. Um, we're actually playing a show tomorrow, um, but it's a little aside from the trailer park. Girl, I got two feet. I could walk there. Um, the tickets are also $27. Um, I have to call my baby daddy and, like, try to figure that out. Um, are you also like That's white trash. <laughs> some like credit card issue. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but my $100,000 limit just doesn't seem to be working and um, I really need a new pair of Louis. So if you guys could stop what you're doing and help me in this matter, that way that'd be really great. My daddy invests a lot of money here and you know, he would not like how long it's taking you to help me with this issue. Um, I expect someone to be fired over this because this is just not okay. So what are you doing? is you're asking people for money for your posh shoes. I'm just really confused on that. What's your name then? Um, my name is Brittany and yeah, of course, shoes are literally life. I love them so much and I just need, a, like this is gonna be my 100th pair and I need these shoes. And I've been asking daddy all week and he finally said that I can get them. Sorry, you don't have enough money so you're asking these pretty people all around the world to Give you money for your hundredth pair of shoes. And my white Mercedes is not gonna fill itself up. Oh my gosh. Your white Mercedes. Yeah. <sighs> Darling. I actually have uh, like six cars. I have one car. That's it. When I came over here, that's all I needed was one car. I don't want my money around for the posh American. Did you say something? Apparently your hair is gonna get too big for you, darling. Isn't it just so pretty? Oh my gosh, I totally have a guy. Doesn't it look so good? It does look like you're into it. For myself? Oh, um, none of this is real. My daddy pays for me to get my hair professionally done. It only costs a few thousand dollars. It's pretty inexpensive, I know. Wait. Wait. Wow, I have a lot of new hair to come. You should tie it up in a knot. Oh my gosh, I look like I'm Western. Yeah, you do. <gasps> how to y'all? This is how y'all say it. <laughs> Party in the house, they just don't care. <laughs> okay, we should call me in this video. Ready? Alright guys, so um, I hope that you like seeing us try on all these wigs and seeing our alter ego personalities that we don't ever use in the club, but you know, you can take them and use them for yourself. Also, if I was a guy, I would really love if he spoke to me in an Australian accent. Or my Aussie accent. Or it's a really good one. I love impact and all, I guess. No, I love talking in that accent, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. If you like this channel, if you want to share it, share it. We love it. We love doing this for you, and we hope you enjoyed the entertainment for this evening, day, all night. Also, if you want Liz to speak in an Australian accent next time she comes <laughs> on for the entire video, like and comment, and let's see how well she can do and challenge her. That's what, that's what we're struggling with. I, I don't know if I can do it like the I entire think you, time. I think you could do that. Oh, cool. Okay, anyways, 
Hope you guys enjoyed watching this and you thought it was funny and got some advice about wearing wigs. And we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.